Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jenny Montgomery. I'm Brad Means. Thank you for staying with us as the family of an Augusta teenager who went missing, along with her stepfather, wants the public to know they are not giving up hope of being reunited. News Channel 6's Renetta DuBose joins us in the studio to tell us how the family is coping and their plans to help bring their loved ones home. Brad, it's been a week and a half of sheer agony for the immediate family. Latanya Carwell's mother and uncle have come forward pleading with the public to help share this story so that their loved ones can be found. I'm not eating, I'm not sleeping, I'm just worried about my family. The past 11 days have been hard for the mother of 16-year-old Latanya Carwell. If y'all see him, please. Call authorities to help my family get home. Tanya Tripp's emotional plea comes after her daughter went missing from her South Augusta home in the wee hours of the morning on her 16th birthday. She left with her stepdad, 38 year old Leon Tripp, to help a friend. Tanya Tripp says her husband only called by his first name as they left. I got her because you sick, and he said I didn't want to bother you, so I asked our daughter, would she go help me find? Maurice, he said he had a call from a friend that was stuck on side of the road in Clark's Hill. Tripp says her family calls her daughter by her middle name, Janelle. The TW Josie sophomore has earned several awards for her schoolwork, and her uncle says he knows she's a good kid looking into the medical field. She knows how to cook, clean, um, very well groomed, very well spoken. She's smart. Um, I just believe she's in a situation where she can't get on the phone and call uncle mom or, or some kind of relative, you know, because by now she, she would have reached out or walked in the door on her own by now. Charles Carwell is Tanya Tripp's brother and he says he isn't sold on the reason why Janelle and her stepdad left. It's almost as if it was premeditated because I, I mean, this girl goes missing on her 16th birthday and how, you know, she was brought out the house. It just, just doesn't sit well with me. All right, this story has been picked up by national talk show host Michael Bayston. The family is hoping media in the Atlanta area picks up the story, too, because that is where the family says the cell phones last appeared. Now, Tripp says her husband has family there, too. Now, Carwell says there is a $500 reward for anyone offering information that will help bring the pair home. Back to you, Jenny. It's it. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad Means. And I'm Jenny Montgomery. An Augusta teenager is still missing after more than two weeks, and investigators believe she was kidnapped by her stepfather. But her mother says that is not the case. News Channel 6's Renetta DuBose has been following this story. She joins us now live in the newsroom. And Renetta, you sat down today with the mother. I did, Jenny. This case may have been upgraded to kidnapping, but Latanya Carwell's mother is sticking to her story. Her husband took their daughter in the middle of the night to help a friend. In my heart and mind, I feel like he didn't kidnap our daughter. This Augusta stepfather went from missing with his stepdaughter to being her accused kidnapper. The kids go with their dad all the time. So you mean to tell me every time they go somewhere with him, it's the kidnapping? Just because I didn't know it the second that he left with her? But Tanya Tripp isn't buying this turn in the investigation. She says her husband, Leon Tripp, needed Latanya Janelle Carwell's tech-savvy skills to operate cell phone GPS to help a friend with car trouble in South Carolina. The door slammed, and the two took off in the family truck, later found less than a mile from their home on Old McDuffie Road. Tripp says the days leading up to the incident during the early morning hours of April 17th were normal. We was going to celebrate her birthday when she came home from school and stuff, and she was like, no. I just want you to cook me some fried chicken and macaroni, Ma. That's all I want. Investigators say Leon Tripp was spotted at a stop and shop grocery in Atlanta four days after he left his Augusta home. Janelle was not with him, though it's believed both are in Atlanta. As national media reports the story, some believe the father and daughter had a relationship. Really? He married to all this prettiness and he gonna run away with our daughter? Come on now. That's stupid. A tipster contacted the Carwell family stating they saw Janelle just two days after she left with her stepfather. They said they saw her here in Clearwater, South Carolina, off Belvedere Clearwater Road between Lakeview Drive and Irene Street. It was about 1.30 in the morning and she was wearing a backpack. But when they asked Janelle if she needed a ride, she said no because she needed to meet someone. Tripp's lengthy criminal history stretches back to 2001 in various Georgia counties. His charges include cruelty to children, armed robbery, aggravated assault, and battery. 
I spoke with the investigator and he says there was no call requesting Tripp help a friend with a car on the side of the road in Clarks Hill. Mrs. Tripp maintains her belief that the two left to do just that. As this story is shared, she is hopeful her daughter will come home. Jenny? She's been missing for nearly three months. Still, no sign of Latanya Janelle Carwell. Both of her parents are in jail in connection to her disappearance. Tonight, a look at a case that has gripped this community, where it stands and where it's going. Renetta Dubose now with a News Channel 6 special report. Janelle's story starts here, her home on Tate Road. This is where her mother reported her missing on April 17th, along with her stepfather. This is also the last location investigators can place the 16-year-old alive on the eve of her birthday. That's my main concern is getting her home. And of course, my husband, but mainly my baby. Because she's been gone too long. A tearful Tanya trip 11 days after her daughter, Latanya Janelle Carwell, disappeared. That's when News Channel 6 started telling her story. Tripp claims Latanya, called Janelle by loved ones, vanished from their Terrace Manor home with her stepdad, Leon Tripp, to help a friend with car trouble in Clarks Hill. While on that 1.30 in the morning run, the family spoke via cell phone. I said, well, what's she doing, honey? He said, sitting over here waiting for me to give her the phone so she can Google, so we can get there and get back. We got to get to work, he said. That's okay. That's fine. Tripp told us that story twice. It's what she told law enforcement, too, when she filed a missing persons report. He said, that's why I asked our daughter, would she go with me to try to find Clark's Hill? I said, what's in Clark's Hill? He said, Maurice stone stopped on the side of the road. He said he asked everybody he could to come help him and won't nobody come help him. I said, oh, okay. Tripp reported the two left in a white pickup truck that law enforcement later found a mile away from the Tate Road home. Meanwhile, cameras spotted Leon trip that Friday at an Atlanta grocery store. Here's what we know now. Janelle, a sophomore at TW Josie Comprehensive High School, attended school Thursday, April 13th. Her English teacher there remembers the day well. She just says that it's my birthday and we're talking about moving too. Friday and Saturday, April 14th and 15th are unaccounted for, but we can place Janelle and her family at Greater Young Zion Baptist Church Easter Sunday, hours before she disappeared. She came over where I was and tapped me on the shoulder and she said, Auntie, um, we are here. After church, Tanya Tripp informed us the family prepared for an Easter cookout and picked up Janelle's birthday cake. She showed us the pink and white decorated cake with the price tag still on the box. That puts the family at one of seven Kroger stores in the CSRA. We had went to the store after church, had got the meat and stuff that we needed for the grilling. Investigators put Janelle at her Tate Road home sometime before midnight before never finding evidence of her whereabouts again. The search for Janelle kicked off almost immediately online with Bring Our Missing Home Inc. launching the search nationally for the teen and nationally known radio host picking up the story too. Social media users shared the stories along with photos of Janelle and Leon, a felon with a storied criminal past in the Atlanta area with charges such as cruelty to children in the third degree. I'll let it remain silent until I have counsel. U.S. Marshals caught Tripp dropping off a U-Haul in DeKalb County, Georgia. With him was his wife, Tanya Tripp, the mother who claimed she didn't know where her family was located. She, too, was arrested the same day in Atlanta after investigators found out she moved into an abandoned home in an area of town called Oakland City. The home they were squatting in is within a mile of Leon's last known Atlanta address. It's also near the grocery store where he was seen the week Janelle went missing. With both parents in jail, the case took a devastating turn. Our goal this week is to is recover of a body. I think the community needs peace, the family needs peace. Eight weeks into the search, Janelle's case turned into a homicide. Law enforcement called Regency Mall after multiple phones in the Tripp household pinged off a cell tower in the area. The community is searching too. Creeks, woods, and other familiar locations, and anyone with information leading to her body, reward money has increased to nearly $4,000.
pray together and come together, but stay together. The community stepped up in a mighty way, helping law enforcement with prayer vigils. Right. There's somebody go okay. with me. You want to go with me later? We're going to take a team straight down that way. To carefully plan civilian searches, Ray Montana takes to Facebook Live almost daily looking for the teen. And WEZL 1230 AM The Blaze host, Pastor Angela C. Harden takes to the airwaves and to the streets for prayer vigils weekly. That's who we're seeking, the higher power. You know, we're seeking the Lord, you know, and, and through the Holy Spirit that he will lead and guide us and give us wisdom, and not just us as a community, but the law enforcement, the investigators, you know, that this case will it will be settled. And the men and women of Richmond County law enforcement left no stone unturned looking for Janelle. Teams went door to door in the Terrace Manor neighborhood, researching the home, nearby school, and investigating both parents within jail walls. And we asked the public, let us do our job. We've been doing it a long time. I worked homicide for 10 years. Um, there's a lot of things that you're not going to understand why we do it, why we have to do it, why it seems like it's a waste of time, why there's a lot of things that involve because again, our goal is the successful prosecution of a homicide investigation. So where does the case go from here? Well, the district attorney talks about that, plus more on the community's effort to find LaTanya as our special report continues on News Channel 6 at 11 tonight. Investigators continue working to find missing Augusta teenager LaTanya Janelle Carwell and bring closure. Here's part two of News Channel 6's Renetta Tubose's special report. But really, where is Janelle? She left no digital footprint, no post to social media, no phone calls, no text. Searches have taken place for the teen both alive and for her remains in Augusta and Atlanta. Really, where is Janelle? A beautiful girl who her uncle recalls as his own. We spoke with Charles Carwell the week after his niece disappeared, and he never believed she willingly left to help someone in South Carolina with car trouble. She'll go anywhere you ask her to go. If she, I'm, I'm in that circle, so if I asked her, hey, let's go to Walmart 1 o'clock in the morning, she's going to go. Is that on her? No, because I'm the adult and I asked her to come out the house. I do feel like she's in a situation where she's probably held against her will. You know, because right now that girl would have reached out. You know, this is a good kid. Uh, she's never been in trouble legally. She's not in trouble at school. Um, I've helped raise this girl from, you know, an infant toddler on up. So this girl was making good grades. She's, she's on her way to school, uh, college, you know, after high school. A bright girl with a brighter future. But District Attorney Natalie Payne told a judge in court that Leon Tripp admitted she's no longer alive. Tanya is sticking to her story. Ms. Tripp advised that her husband, Leon Tripp, and Janelle had left to go assist someone <coughs> at Parks Hill Lake or the Parks Hill area uh, with a broken down vehicle. Could Leon have killed her? The mother of his biological children spoke exclusively to us and she told us what she thinks. Do you think he could have done the unthinkable and killed her? I cannot say he did not kill her. I don't think he would, but like I said, emotionally respond. Could she, I don't know the nature of their relationship. If it's close to them, they were dating or something, or they were messing around, then in the event of she wanted to leave, I don't think he'll kill her. You know, I just don't think he'll like it. And that's when, that's when the problem come in. That was my problem. When you're trying to leave him, but despite rumors of a romantic relationship between Leon and Janelle, Tanya denied an affair ever happened. Really? He married to all this prettiness and he gonna run away with our daughter? Come on now. That's stupid. The parents are silent, though, about where Janelle's body might be and who might have done the crime. But Payne has already suggested she will add to both Leon Tripp's kidnapping charge and Tanya Tripp's hindering the apprehension of a criminal charge. And I would not rule out the possibilities of additional charges in this matter. As the DA builds a case that may very well be murder for Tanya and Leon Tripp, people still want to know where Janelle's body is, and some have a mustard seed of faith that she's out there somewhere. Investigators are concentrating their search in the Garden City, but we know that Leon Tripp is from Atlanta and his family still lives there. That's also where he and Tanya picked up a U-Haul and fled to, hiding in Leon's old stumping grounds. Where is Janelle?
Count on News Channel 6 to follow the story as we await the next court date for both parents and hopefully some closure for loved ones.